Now we're turning to self-care, which as you know is very important. Massage therapist Chrissy Borst is here to talk different ways to improve your overall wellness. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Why is self-care so important? Self-care is extremely important, especially when you take into consideration how often we forget to uh, reflect in on the things that we need. We mm -hmm. get so busy with life that we forget to do the things we need to make sure we're okay. Mentally and physically, it's important that we take care of ourselves, um, especially since back in the day, our fight or flight responses were in charge of setting off our sympathetic nervous system that right. set off stress responses. Well, now that same that same response is set off during when you're anxious or we're stressed out. So it's really a revolving door of stress works out stress responses. It gives us more stress, and that's not that's not not to mention the physical symptoms that we get for the wear and tear of our body over right. time and we can also have it in an instant with you know having a baby on our hip the same way every day mm -hmm. or picking up a box the incorrect way. Self-care is extremely important to maintaining your body. What about massage therapy? What are some of the benefits of that? Massage therapy is extremely beneficial especially when you take into consideration that that fight-or-flight response that I mentioned earlier creates norepinephrine. It's a that stress hormone I, mm -hmm. um, I spoke about. Yep. That helps balance that. It helps also balance the sleep-wake cycle for insomnia clients. It helps lower blood pressure. It helps with um, joint flexibility, muscle elasticity, and nutrient absorption into your tissue. So really there are so many vast ways that massage therapy is beneficial form of self-care. Okay, here's my thing with massages. Mm -hmm. You go there, there's this big menu of all these different kinds of mm -hmm. massage and I never know which one to pick. How do you know which one is good for what? Oh man, since there are so many different forms of massage therapy, we have to understand that every form of massage therapy is beneficial for multiple different things. Mm -hmm. So it really is what you desire and what feels right for your body. So this best type of play is to be able to go into different <laughs> massage therapists or try different modalities. But if that doesn't work out for you, if that's a little bit too of an expensive uh, feat to find the right sort of thing, yeah. there are massage schools like Wellspring School of Allied Health here in the city that do have clinics. Uh, that provide um, massages and they have teachers as well that are available at clinics if students have any questions or if you have any questions regarding massages. If you can't make it out to a massage center or to the spa, mm -hmm. what are some things that we can do at home? Ooh, as far as preventative care, definitely make sure that you're staying hydrated. Okay. Um, water is always extremely important, especially with the heat that we've been having lately. Right. You want to make sure that your muscles and your joints, all your tissue is staying hydrated properly. Another thing is nutrition. Make sure you're staying up on fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, just adding them into your diet, making sure that, that you stay up on that. Um, if you drink a lot of sugars, I know it's summer, so a lot of people have alcoholic beverages right. sometimes, which is perfectly fine. But there is a fun, um, uh, Epsom salt. You could take an Epsom salt bath. That helps oh. take the toxins out of your tissue. Oh, really? Mm -hmm, absolutely. And How have, often should you do this, have one of these baths um, with Epsom salt? Really? It, it, there, I don't think that you could do it too often. I okay. mean, definitely don't do it every time you take a bath. Yeah. But, you know, once every two weeks would be Ooh. nice. Once every week and a half okay. wouldn't be pushing it. What's this sock? This right here. Okay, so <laughs> you know how whenever you get inflammation in your tissue or, um, you know, you, you get either inflammation or you get a muscle tear or some sort of pain? Yeah. This really helps with that. So you know how your grandma used to have those bags with rice in it? Yeah. Well, this is a cheap way of doing that. You know, your dryer always sucks up one of your socks. <laughs> So take a, another sock, fill it full of rice, and you can either put it in the freezer or you can put it in the microwave. Oh, and so with that, just I make would make sure it's a clean sock. Mm -hmm. And I, yes, <laughs> and I would I would like to mention too that cold helps with inflammation and um, pain. Heat works for more of your uh, tightness oh, and muscle okay. elasticity. Okay, so depending on your issue. Mm -hmm. So if it's, do that accordingly. Yeah, if it's inflammation, always use cold. All right, Chrissy, I kind of wish you brought your massage table today. Oh, we man. did it this next time. time that. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for being here and Thanks. for the great tips. Absolutely.